Hello, welcome to this podcast. My name is Beatrice Mars and I am a singer songwriter from France. So today, 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 I'm gonna talk a little bit about workflow and uh, somehow I'm maybe gonna contradict myself. I know I've made a video like uh, I think two videos ago, the title of the video was Answering the Big Q and uh, maybe I'm about to do, to, to say the contrary of what I was saying in that video. So yeah, I want to talk about workflow because today I've done something I've never, I've been, yeah, I haven't done that thing in ages, meaning working on a song in the afternoon, uh, just for an hour working in the afternoon. Uh, Actually, and I was using the speakers uh, that uh, that I have to actually listen to a song. Something I don't usually do when I actually write. Well, uh, when I when I actually make the music, I usually use a set of headphones. And when I mix, I, I mix on headphone. And usually, uh, talking about workflow, it's usually late at night. And uh, at the beginning in 2017, I know I was working during the day, in the afternoon, and then I stopped. And uh, and then and then uh, I went too late in the in the evening. But uh, and I have to say, I usually do that. L- I usually uh, record the vocals late in the evenings. That's where it's so it's it's the most quiet where I live. So in the place where I live. So that's that's the way I do things. So yeah, talking about workflow, yeah, today I've worked in the afternoon and I realized that because of my health, and this is the reason why I'm saying I'm, I'm just about to contradict myself, uh, I, I have to say, I go with the flow when it comes to music and everything in my life, I just go with the flow. Uh, I'm not working, I couldn't work because of my health so far and actually, uh, I would say making music was some, some kind of surplus some somehow because uh, in two, 2017 I was very much in pain when I was actually recording these, those albums and uh, today it's a bit different. I'm in pain but l- much less than it was in 2017 and today I, I've, the thing is I finished, the, I finished 2019 in strange circumstances starting started night 2020 in strange circumstance circumstances and now it's it's the beginning of march and f- strange things are happening to me so far so uh and the strange things of it all something happened to me i think i never i never thought never ever thought that it would happen to me uh i have to say uh, i've got some arthritis you know, on my lower bike and uh the arthritis is almost 80 percent gone which is the reason why i'm i'm saying i was going to contradict myself because it allows me to sit a little bit more nowadays and stand a little bit more it's not like 100 percent but uh, it's uh, it's 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 something very much of a a big thing for me because uh, i almost like feel like like i was before before i had uh, the um, my motorbike accident so i just like whoa i'm coming back i don't know and uh yeah it's changing your workflow i've never been rigid because of making music because of my health issues i had to go with the flow so when i was hurting that much i couldn't do anything so i have to say that time's up and i have to i had to wait and uh, come back to the music afterwards and the thing is like i said before at the beginning, it was kind of annoying me, and but very quickly I realized that it allowed me to actually step back from the music for the work I, I did at the time, and come back to it to it with a fresh mindset, fresh ears, and uh, and 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 to be honest to, to, with you, at some summer uh, I think I'm working very. Well. I'm working. It's in much. It's, it's much easier for me to work that way, to this date. So and uh, yeah, I, and yeah. In terms of workflow, I actually don't set dates. I'm not gonna do a nine to five because 
physically I cannot do a 9 to 5 anyway so but it's like the my other video the 24 7 technique I don't work then from 9 to 5 I don't actually there is there is some chunk of time during the day maybe in the morning but it's very rare in the morning because if I work in the morning I usually try to actually prepare me some food and then I overcook the whole thing and uh, it's it's distasteful if you understand what I'm saying so it's something I try to avoid in the in the morning unless I get up very early and I've got a melody in my head and then I will record it it happened to me a few times especially on Sunday on some days but it's something I usually don't do I usually work till till recently very late at night and 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 uh, and now I realize that uh, because of my health issues it's getting it's getting a little bit better i might contemplate the fact of working in the afternoon and spending a whole afternoon making music which is kind of good for me but yeah in terms of rock you're gonna you, you can't be rigid that's what yeah you you can't be like yeah, I, I don't understand that and am i a perfectionist i am not and uh, and if i was surely i would i would not have released six albums that's for sure because i know some of them some of them some of the strong there are some mistakes recording mistakes and I, I i won't apologize to it because this is the way i've done the thing and i'm cool with it i'm just like accepting it i'm i'm working with what i can lay my hands on and that's it i'm I'd, uh yeah uh, and as i say as i said before the most important thing for me is to express myself not to uh, try to be uh the uh the biggest recording artist in the whole world i don't it doesn't mean much to me expressing myself is much more meaningful to me than being the biggest the greatest we whatever if it happens well it was meant to be but if it doesn't happen never mind that's what i can say so yeah i'm utterly totally flexible with uh, my my workflow and uh and honestly it helps me in terms of quality as far as I'm concerned and I work much as I said before I'm a, I, work, I work much more quickly much more easily when I actually sit down because I'm doing many things during the day that allows me to 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 nurture my creative spirit if I can say if I can say that if I can say so and whenever i actually sit down and have like a flash in my head saying you need to sit down you need to open everything so you can record it just comes down easily if i force it it may happen but most of the time it does not happen but when I actually if I, if i'm in good condition i actually nurture the thing it's just like easy like the melody comes and i, I know when i have to sit down take the time off just stop what i was doing just sit down switch everything on and just record that's that's the way that's that's the way i rock so i'm on, i'm very yeah i'm very uh yeah i'm very could i be a ghostwriter i don't think so that's what i was asking myself the other day could i make could could i be a bean maker i don't think so and uh because first of all the beat making thing to me is that first of all um i cannot like force myself to do something in term musically i mean and it's like beat making to me it's like kind of repeat repeating yourself and it's more like to me it's unfinished work to me if you if you make music there's no because i'm uh, well i'm also a songwriter so I call myself so if you if you don't put lyrics on a song to me it's okay and then I want to do maybe that's the perfectionist part of me if I try something if I make a mu if I make a song if I make some music it's either I like it then I will carry on and try to put some 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 lyrics on top of it or if I don't like it it's gonna be shelved it's gonna stay on my hard drive and I want to go well, I, I won't touch a thing anymore that's it's very rare i have to say that uh, on some of the few there's one or two albums where there were some tracks that initially i've i've discarded and then i came back to it i said to myself well i could change that 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 and then it it, it turned out to be a track on the um, 
on the on the album but yeah I, it's it's my work process i don't think I, I could do that and the thing is yeah i've been slaving away well slaving my life away for for boss for so many years i i can't see myself slaving that much on on my music because here again uh, it's just something very personal to me so well, I don't make it even if I really really would like to make a lot of money out of it I don't actually do that for the money solely for the money it's just to me a, a way of expressing myself more more than anything else so yeah and my own personal therapist i don't go to see psychologists or psychiatrists or whatever it's just i've just write music and uh, get on with it ready to ready to hear the criticism if some of you want to criticize to criticize the music i've made and you open you you can't like you know you know some people may like it some other people may, may not like it that's art and that's 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 the way life goes you can't like please every everybody anyway so yes in terms of workflow i mean i, I, I can't see uh, uh, you know uh, i can't put myself into a nine to five and uh as much as I can say, I know I can't explain it. As much as yeah, sometimes I know I need to sit down and make something because I feel like it's gonna flow out of me. And the same way, it's true that uh, when I kind of in the nine to five mindset, even though I don't like, it's not every day. It's just like I feel like yeah, because the flow is with me. So I know that uh, in the next hours, even the, f the next the next days. Uh, I, I know I will have to 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 I, I, I will have to sit down because something is going to come out of it. I, it's something I cannot explain. It's totally spiritual. It's going totally exoteric. But if you like a single songwriter, if you're a real creative, you you will understand what I'm saying. So sometimes I feel like I know it's going to happen, and sometimes I know it's not going to happen. And I knew back in November, I knew that the flow was actually uh, yeah dripping wasn't I wasn't flowing anymore and it wasn't flowing out of me nothing was flowing out of me anymore it was just dripping and basically I kind of stopped I did something different up till uh, up till uh, roughly the middle of the end of January where I actually started again and that and now now I feel like uh, it's coming back again so it's a very strong st it's a very strange concept and that's the reason why I'm saying yeah in terms of workflow as a creative you cannot be you cannot be rigid because uh, uh, yeah you're gonna like isn't uh, if you are rigid you can you cannot nurture your creative spirit and uh, once the uh, your creative spirit is not nurtured anymore it's very likely it's gonna die and uh, you, won't, you, you won't be able to do anything or if you do create things it's not going to be something you're going to be pleased with because it's going to be forced and uh, that's where the uh, that's where the, the trouble comes i mean uh, and uh, i have to say did i go through a burnout yes i did and uh, i can't remember yes uh what period was it 2018 2019 i can't remember but i remember I've been I've been recorded a video for YouTube and I said we are I think I'm going for burnout and I need to stop so yeah and uh, and this, that's the reason why I'm saying nine to five seeing that thing the creative process is nine to five thing it's it's, it's strange to me so that's the reason why this, the, the, the reason yeah the story of ghost, being a ghostwriter doesn't please me and if you're creative and you work a full time job being creative. Um, I would encourage you to actually leave a comment underneath the video or you know go into my blog and leave you know make a make a comment and tell me how you deal with it because uh, uh, sometimes it doesn't flow and when people are keep asking you to do things and you don't really deep inside because you're creative you know you don't feel like it but you have to do it so how do you deal with those things really tell me how you how do you do that and uh and i have decided to uh, like recently it's because of because of money that's all i can say so i've uh, actually opened an account on fiverr and uh try to i'm trying to do some voiceovers so i don't know it's gonna if it's gonna going to happen it's even in french or english with my lovely friend, french accent 
I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it's gonna be interesting to me to actually do that because I'm gonna be forced to do something. So you're gonna tell me how we have the opportunity to ever to have, uh, accept the gig or not accept it, which is cool with me, but uh, at the moment where I will actually accept the gig, I will have to like work within a certain piece, short period of time. I don't know how it's going to work and how I'm going to live. I'm going to do it. But actually, it was something that was suggested to me. And uh, I have to say, for so many years, some people have been like, tell me I like your voice that much. That's the reason why I keep on recording my voice on my tracks. And uh, lately on my other YouTube channel, someone uh, left me a comment telling me, well, you would see my voice on the manga, manga feed as a voiceover. And I thought to myself, hmm, I've heard that one before. Someone told me something like that. And uh, I said to myself, well, thinking one, two, three, and you need money. And uh, one and one is two, plus one is three, just say that. And you need some money. So... I said to myself, well, I'm going to like uh, try to join Fiverr to see if I can actually get a gig and do some uh, voiceover. I reckon it's going to be a bit funny and it's going to take me out of the workflow and maybe push me to think differently about the whole process and do things totally differently because I've never done a voiceover before, officially done a voiceover before, apart from uh, recording videos for myself. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, it's going to mess around, that's going to mess around with my workflow if I actually get if I actually manage to get some gigs so that's going to be much more very very much interesting so yeah so I record I make music I actually uh, I actually sell on eBay as well and uh, actually read because uh, if you want to be if you want to be a business woman you have no choice when uh, either you've got people around you who actually can show you how to do things or you actually actually to educate yourself and learn how to do things so you can actually uh, do things by yourself and uh, yeah it takes some time but uh, I know things in life are never kind kind of very easy that's what I discover right now with my my eBay business that's what I can say. So in terms of workflow, so what is your workflow? How do you how do you work when you need to? Uh, how do you work nine to five when you are creative? That's what, that's really the question I'm uh, I'm asking you. What is your workflow on your nine to five job? Knowing that uh, you are meant to do things to justify your salary from nine to five. So that's it for me. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, as usual, you, if you want, you will be able to see the recording of this podcast on my YouTube channel called Beatrice Mars. And uh, you should be able to hear from me shortly. That is, if I still got an it, in, internet connection in the next few days. But uh, anyway, I sold something else because this is what I do. I manage. I actually manage to actually uh, sort things out. But so I can say. So see you next time or you hear from me next time. Bye. Thank you for listening.